Prince Edward, Earl of Wessex, supports the Queen in his role as a working member of the royal family. But today, November 16, the royal spotlight will be on Edward alone, as he will be filling in for the Queen at a significant Church of England event, the opening session of the General Synod. As head of the Church of England, the Queen is known to take her duties to the Church very seriously. In light of this, the Queen would usually be in attendance at the General Synod opening session that is taking place on Tuesday this week. The occasion marks the election of the National Assembly of the Church of England, which is normally elected every five years. But following a few weeks of doctor ordered rest, Buckingham Palace announced last week that further engagements in the Queen's schedule will be cleared, including her General Synod visit. A statement read, the Queen will attend the annual Remembrance Day service at the Cenotaph on Sunday November 14. As in previous years Her Majesty will view the service from the balcony of the Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Office building. Mindful of her doctor's recent advice, the Queen has decided not to attend the General Synod service and opening session on Tuesday November 16. The statement added, the Earl of Wessex will attend as planned. The duty will now fall to Prince Edward to represent the Crown at the opening session of the 11th General Synod of the Church of England on Tuesday. Edward's presence at the high-profile event comes at a hugely important time for the royal family, as they look to support the Queen while she rests at Windsor. Further concern for the Queen's health was prompted on Sunday when Buckingham Palace announced the Queen would not be attending Remembrance Sunday after all. The Palace said the Queen was suffering from a sprained back, meaning the Queen missed the Cenotaph service for the first time in 22 years. During this time, the royal family are believed to be rallying around the Queen and picking up royal duties on her behalf. According to the Mirror, the Queen's engagements could be scaled down until spring, with other royals taking on her duties over the coming weeks. The Queen has a team of senior royals to support her, who have been dubbed the Magnificent Seven by the media. Senior working royals include Prince Charles, Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, Prince William, Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, Princess Anne, Prince Edward, and Sophie, Countess of Wessex. A royal source told the publication, the Queen remains as sharp as a pin, but the reality is she needs to take a period of rest following an extremely busy start to normal duties after the coronavirus restrictions were lifted. The senior members of the family are all aligned in that they will be available to help out wherever they can and for as long as is needed. While Prince Edward attends the service at Westminster Abbey on Tuesday, Prince Charles, and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, will also be carrying out important royal work. Charles and Camilla will begin their first overseas trip since the start of the pandemic, visiting Jordan on Tuesday and Egypt later this week.